Alright, I am uh, Darren Homequest, and welcome to my uh, Top 10 Stunt People Fights. Now, for those of you that don't know who the Stunt People are, they are a group of uh, martial artists and stuntmen who started making movies in 2001 in Redding, California, with the starting members Chelsea Stepherson, Ben Brown, and Eric Jacobus. Now, since then, these guys have produced many martial arts films, and they are now stationed in San Francisco. Now, I'm going to be covering my favorite of these stunt people fights, so it's my personal favorite, not possibly the best, but the ones that I enjoy most, and the ones that I like to watch over and over again. So one of the films that I'm definitely leaving out is Undercut, not because I thought it was a bad film or anything, and the fights were really good, just personally, it wasn't one of my personal favorites, but... I'm just going with my personal top 10. So here they are. Okay, let's get things started off with the uh, short film by the Stunt People, Rush Delivery. A recent Stunt People fight that has come to the internet. The one thing I really love about this fight is that Dennis moves like a freaking demon the whole time. Eric Jacobus exhibits many really great falls, especially that HK spin you just saw there. And there's also just the fact that the fight is just fast and quick. Great camera angles. The Buster Keaton comedy feel to it just makes it even more enjoyable and entertaining. Especially with the way that Eric uses the uh, package or whatever that he's got to just knock Dennis the hell out right there. Alright, our ninth placement goes to the bathroom fight choreographed uh, by Ed Kahana. really love the fight. It's very realistic. I love the camera and the editing for these fights as well, and it uh, looks very believable. My only peeve with this fight is, what the hell is a chick doing in the boys' bathroom to begin with. And it's also very good on how the multiple choreography is worked in between opponents. One of the greatest parts is at the end. He beats the crap out of everyone and then still goes back into the bathroom and washes his hands. Brilliant. Number eight goes to the short film Stealth, where you have Eric Jacobus in a ninja outfit and everyone else is in those masks you'd usually see Kato from the Green Hornet wear. Choreography is creative, the stunts are just fun to watch. The location is the same one that's used for the final fight in Contour, so the atmosphere is really cool. Comedic moments such as when Steve Reedy accidentally punches Troy, as well as that really slow axe kick that knocks Steve Reedy to the ground. Overall, it's a shorty, but a goodie. Number seven goes to team up with Chelsea Stepherson against the uh, two Asian fighters, or as uh, everyone in the short film likes to call it, we beat our Asian short film. Now I was there when they were choreographing this, so really they are this fast, I can confirm that much. And they really are this good. I mean, Chelsea is amazing at choreography, and these two Asian guys aren't even martial artists, and they pull off these stunts surprisingly well. Basically a fight of kicks, flips, and throws. What can go wrong with this fight? Ecliptica 2 goes to the next placement with Chelsea Stepherson, Gavin Merrick, and Eric Jacobus. Once again in his little ninja outfit. Except this short film was much earlier than stealth. I enjoy the intensity, the kicks are great, and the teamwork aspect of it is interesting because the two guys that are ganging up on one are the good guys. I found two parts of this fight scene funny. One is when they try to break his neck with both feet, just like they did in the original. And then he gets right back up and comes right back at him. The other part is when they break his neck four times over. That just made me laugh. Now we're in top five territory with a two-on-two -two fight from Teamwork 2. A fairly well-balanced fight, showing off uh, all skills from all four guys. Impressive handwork as well as grapples and falls displayed in this fight scene. Nice acrobatics and all four of the characters really take a beating. This is one of the earlier fight scenes of the stunt people that actually looks the most dangerous out of it all. Big Nathan coming in there and kicking ass, he's really awesome, especially with the grapples he displays. This fight from the stunt people definitely stands out. It's featured on everyone's Kung Fu Fighting DVD, so check it out. Next up for number 4 is Iron Buddha, a classic among stunt people fans. He uses the classic keep away version of fighting. This is basically an every man for himself fight. You never know who's gonna win. The fight goes back and forth so much, I really don't know who to root for. The display of handwork is awesome, as well as the kicking and punching combos mixed right in. This fight has very good intensity, and you really never know who's gonna win until the end. Alright, now we're getting serious with the stunt people film Escapee with Andy, Eric, and Ed. Now what does this film got? Well, a lot of amazing falls, extremely fast and creative choreography, and a hell of a lot of powder. 
all against all. One of the opponents actually picks up a weapon, so it becomes a lot more realistic and threatening. What's great about the end is not only does Ed scratch his butt with a mop, but also Eric hits Andy with a stick. Now that's funny. Fighting for number two is Contour's practice video with Dennis Rule. Shows some great kick combos, Hapkido grappling, and a lot of ass kicking from Dennis. Vlad and Donovan don't dare mess with this guy. Alright, after all these awesome scenes, are you ready for number one? Do I really need to comment? Alright, why the hell not. The final fight scene in the feature of Contour is freaking fast. Deadly kicks from Dennis and extremely good acrobatic falls from Eric. The song in this fight is definitely the most badass track on the entire film. Notice something here? Eric is getting his ass kicked. This fight actually made me change my mind and actually root for the bad guy on this. Forget any underdog fight that's ever been put on film. This one takes the cake. What's also cool is that the final shot of the movie is actually in one big one minute take. The choreography here just proves that no American martial arts film ever made can actually beat this film. Not in a long shot. Now I won't spoil the ending for you. So why don't you buy this DVD from the stunt people while you still can, because it's definitely worth buying. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you stunt people for putting together some awesome fights. Thank you Eric Jacobus for letting me use this footage. Now have a great what's left of 2007.